Hi all, welcome to another video of the subject power system analysis based on the KTU syllabus and we are on module 4 and today we are going to discuss about the automatic voltage control. So this is the schematic diagram of alternator uh, voltage regulator scheme. So here uh, you can see this is the uh, generator and uh, we are controlling the output of the generator, the voltage output of the generator by uh, controlling the field and here we are taking a, a voltage feedback using a potential transformer and this uh, feedback to uh, reference voltage that is here the, um, the feedback voltage is actually the terminal voltage of the generator is compared with the reference voltage and then uh, error is developed there and from that uh, the error is amplified using an error amplifier and uh, uh, further an SCR power amplifier is also used to enhancing the power output and uh, uh, here the main excitor okay here the main excitor controls the uh, generator field here thereby controlling the uh, voltage output okay so this is the schematic diagram <coughs> here um, and the function of the main important components okay and their transfer function uh, we can discuss in the next slides and mainly the entire system is a type 0 system which requires a constant error e for a specified voltage at the generator terminals okay and the main uh, components are important components are the first one is the potential transformer that is we have already uh, uh, seen the that is it gives a sample of terminal voltage okay denoted as vt okay and the second one is the differencing device <coughs> the differencing device is this one okay, this one is the differencing device and here uh, it gives the actuating error that is error it produces an error signal there that is it is equal to v reference minus vt okay you can see here the, uh, the error will be v reference minus vt okay and the next component will be our error amplifier okay this is the error amplifier and next one will be SCR power amplifier okay and next one will be our uh, th th this this uh, that is SCR power amplifier and excitor field okay considered as a, a single component and uh, next one we will discuss the alternator okay and last one a stabilizing transformer is also there okay we will discuss on them and uh, we will um, generate a transfer function okay so uh, the potential transformer and uh, the <coughs> error differentiator okay differencing component differencing device we have discussed and next one is error amplifier the error amplifier it model demodulates and amplifies the error signal okay and its gain is denoted as ka okay so this mathematical representation we will be using uh, at the end for uh, generating the block diagram of alternator voltage regulator scheme okay using this uh, the gain components and all we will develop a block diagram okay so this is the error amplifier and next one is the scr power amplifier and excitor field okay both are uh, considered as here so uh, it provides the necessary power amplification to the signal for controlling the excitor field so here you can see <coughs> this is the SCR power amplifier and uh, it provides the necessary power amplification to the signal that is the error signal uh, the output of the error amplifier okay so this will uh, control the excitor field here okay so uh, the excitor field okay so this is the main excitor okay so for controlling the main excitor we are controlling the excitor field here okay so assume the amplifier time constant to be small enough to be neglected the overall transfer function of these two devices that is power amplifier and excitor field can be written as like this that is ke by 1 plus tef into s this is the trans function of scr power amplifier and excitor field where tef is the excitor field time constant and next one is the alternator that we know it's a uh, field is excited by the main excitor voltage ve okay and uh, under no load it pro produces a voltage proportional to the field current okay 
if there is an if there is a no load so it produces okay the excitor uh, the alternator produces a voltage proportional to the field current okay so the no load trans function can be written as the alternators no load trans function can be written as kg by 1 plus tgf into s where tgf is the generator field time constant okay and here Uh, the load causes a voltage drop which is a complex function of direct and quadrature axis components currents okay the voltage drop so that is uh, normally represented as a, a, a gain uh, function gl okay that can be uh, viewed in the the end of this uh, video that is in the main block diagram you can see that gl okay so normally the voltage drop okay by the load is represented by a, a block gl and next one is the stabilizing transformer so here the uh, time constant tf and tgf okay that is we have all this is the tgf and this is the tef okay. sr power amplifier and alternator are large enough to, to impair the system's dynamic response okay and uh, it is well known that the dynamic response of a control system can be improved by the internal derivative feedback loop okay so by providing a feedback loop we can improve the dynamic response so the derivative feedback in the system is provided by means of a stabilizing transformer excited by the exciter output voltage via okay exciter output voltage so here uh, you can see that is uh, you can see here that is the uh, exciter voltage okay a stabilizing transformer is uh, excited by the exciter voltage ve here so this can be improve the uh, dynamic response of the system uh, thereby that is we are using a stabilizing transformer the okay then the output of the stabilizing transformer is fed back fed negatively at the input terminals of the cr power amplifier and the trans function of the stabilizing transformer okay uh, you can see here uh, so from this figure uh, we can uh, see that the voltage v okay v can be written as v is equal to that uh, the voltage induced here in the inductor that is l1 into uh, dist by dt and uh, a drop also we are considering r1 into ist so thereby we are considering that uh, the equation as v is equal to r1 into ist plus l1 into dist by dt uh, and uh, vst can also be written as m into dist by dt okay that is m is the corresponding mutual inductance value m into dist by dt and take the laplace transform okay uh, we get if you are taking the laplace transform of this one uh, vst of s is equal to m into s into ist of s that we know okay vst of s is equal to m into s into ist of s okay ist of s and also uh, if you are taking the laplace transform of this one v of s is equal to r1 into ist of s plus l1 into s into ist of s okay and uh, uh, if you are taking the lap uh, that is uh, laplace transform output by laplace transform input vst of s by v of s equal to sm by r1 plus uh, sl1 is equal to sm by r1 Uh, that is if we are dividing the denominator and numerator by r1 we will get sm by r1 by 1 plus tst by s where that tst will be equal to tst we can uh, uh, return as that is l1 by r1 okay tst will be equal to l1 by r1 okay so uh, this is the transfer function the corresponding transfer function of the stabilizing transformer uh, and uh, i hope all of you understand that well and one more thing that is uh, the here the kst will be corresponding m by r1 okay we can write the kst as m by r1 okay so that is the trans function of the stabilizing transformer and we have discussed the around uh, six important components of our automatic voltage uh, generation control uh, so uh, thank you